Hi, my name is Casper Lee, and this is Joe. Hello. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> growing up is quite difficult, Joe, as you probably know. Big time. Um, Joe, I only just started growing armpit hair. <laughs> I'm almost 24. It's difficult to deal with puberty, body confidence, bullying, sex, etc. Ex Joe, what are you? I was just checking they're still there. <laughs> Growing up, young Casper had a few problems with different things, and he had a bunch of expectations when it came to talking about these things with his parents, but those expectations weren't actually the reality of the situation when he talked to them. So I'm going to show you those using my helpful, trusty sidekick, Joe. Oh, is that why I'm here? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Expectations when talking about puberty. <laughs> Hi, Mom. It's Joe. It's me, Joe. <laughs> no, it's your, you're my mom. No, it's me, Joe. No, I know, I know, but you're my mom right now. Oh, yeah, of course, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mom. I was wondering if I could talk to you about something. Of course you can, Casper. The boys have been talking in the changing rooms about hair they are growing in places, but I'm not growing any hair yet, and I was wondering if there's something wrong with me. No, you're fine! I was a late bloomer too, and all of a sudden, BOOM! Hair everywhere! Couldn't control it! <laughs> well, it's, it's not as bad now, I must admit. It's not as, you can have a look if you want. <laughs> no? But the reality of the situation was very different. I actually spoke to my mom about this issue that I thought was really important at the time. And she kind of just explained how everyone grows up differently and it was nothing to worry about and it wasn't awkward at all. I actually felt closer with her because of it. Hmm. I agree. Mom, there's this boy called Josh. No, I hate the name Josh. Okay. And he's kind of been not very welcoming to me because I've just moved schools. He's bullying you? Yeah. Are you being bullied? Yeah. You're being bullied? Well, I mean, it's not that bad. I just wanted to talk to you about it. I said, wait here. No, Mom, I'm going, don't! I'm going right down that school right now. I'm going to tell our principal he's not doing his job properly. Mom, Mom, don't to... make a big fuss about it. <laughs> he's going to pay for what he's done to my boy. Mom, please don't. Has make... he hit you? Mom, I just... Has he hit you? No. But the reality of the situation was that me and this boy, Josh, um, just didn't get along at that time. My mom actually just gave me really cool advice like maybe try and avoid him Stop trying to be his friend because I was really trying hard and I think that's what made me feel even worse about it And she just kind of made me feel good about myself and told me that I was better than that I guess at that time I needed to hear that from my mom and she didn't make a big scene like I thought she would to be honest and Sometimes parents advice is the best because they been through it before. Like, they were once your age, they've been through similar situations, if not they've known somebody who's also been through a similar situation. It's hard to sometimes imagine that your parents are actually, they were kids and they're actually, mm. they're real people too. Sometimes you just think they're the most embarrassing things to walk this planet, and that is the case, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but they can also have some great advice. Thank you Joe for helping me with this video. That's alright. Can I go uh, now? Yeah, you can go. Oh, I'm quite enjoying this because uh, it's actually my room. <laughs> okay, you can stay. <laughs> I don't think all of our parents are going to handle everything exactly the same. However, there are loads of people out there you can speak to. Not only your parents, but maybe your teacher, an older brother, sister, the man down the road, but make sure he's not a stranger. Everyone is going to have to deal with awkward situations and awkward conversations. But I feel like our expectations are a lot worse than the reality of the situation. Yeah. There are definitely people out there you can speak to, even if it's not your own parents. Even if it's not your teacher, there's someone there who's willing to listen and it's so much easier getting through life with help. It would be awesome if you could leave some of your thoughts about awkward conversations and maybe some examples of experiences you've had in the past in the comment section. But for now, we're off and we've had a great time making this video. And we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.